Well, it looks like Halo Infinite's new armor core is kind of bugged. More leaks about Season 2 customization, which looks pretty interesting. A quick image of what Halo Infinite looked like back in 2019, and how it looks like we'll be getting some big game announcements next month. So do you want to know more? Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. Now to all my Halo homies out there, it looks like the Rakshasa armor set, new core that's coming for Season 2, is actually kind of busted. And I'll show you why right here. This was shown on Reddit right here, showcasing what's going on with the armor set, where basically if you change the body type, it obviously slims out the body, but when you check out the legs, yeah, that's kind of weird right there. There's like some weird awkward gap, like the legs don't actually like slim either, just like the upper torso and stuff like that, which is... Uh, Kind of funny, I mean, that, yeah, this armor core is definitely much more of like a revealing armor core than we've had previously with the Mark 7 and Mark 5, so that might just not have been taken into consideration, just kind of copy-pasted some kind of code and things like that over, so things like this could certainly take place, which is, just looks so weird. It just looks so weird. Now, there has been no word that I've seen, at least from 343, about this kind of messed up customization when it comes to the new armor core for Season 2. I'm sure something like this would probably get fixed up one of those drop monthly drop pods that we're going to be gaining for during the duration of Season 2. But of course, I haven't heard anything yet from 343, but as soon as we do, I'll let you guys know here on the channel. Now, we've seen some interesting customization get leaked out recently by a lot of data miners out there who've been doing a lot of work out there on Twitter showcasing a lot of things like this. For example, it's a new death effect, which is kind of like this weird kind of like bad bunny kind of look to the whole thing uh i mean we've seen like the bunny ears that were released previously uh that were leaked out as well it's kind of like a holographic armor effect kind of thing you have to have some bunny ears and stuff like that i'm assuming this will be tied to some form of an event we do know that the yappany is going to be returning as we mentioned in a previous video uh but this one doesn't really look like anything that would be tied to that it might be its own kind of event we'll just have to wait and see when we get some more actual information from 343 about this but it's in the game some more customization leaks we have a different kind of death effect right here we also have have a different kind of armor coating which does look pretty sweet i'm not gonna lie it looks pretty nice right there as well as a different kind of shoulder piece and stuff like that we did see this within the season two trailers uh, so this most likely will be tied to some kind of, of an event no idea what kind of event yet but as soon as we do get some information i'll let you guys know here on the channel and like this this really really weird weapon charm of master chief with like a tiny head and huge body i mean why not for the memes why not we have some new stances that were revealed as well to see this one's kind of like the heisman trophy kind of stands right here for kind of a nice little football reference i like this one a lot because it's just like my man kind of thing i actually like something like this this is actually kind of fun and just like a different kind of pose right there and also like a kind of a cool like stoic badass kind of holding a sword like yeah I just won this game. I did talk about this in a previous video. This is the pass for the yappening that's gonna be coming around for us guys. Uh, leaks are saying probably about late August, early September is when this yappening event will happen. Uh, just so we're on the same page, this is kind of the battle pass. If you guys wanna check it out, you know, pause the video if you would like to. We have some new information about what the weekly challenges are gonna be for it. Weekly challenges as in the, the weekly ultimate stuff. Uh, also Halo leaks right here just say that it's gonna be coming from September 6th to 20th. Now these dates have been subject to change and we've seen it change previously from this leak. So more kind of like a rough idea of when these events will happen more than this is the actual information. That's kind of the nature of leaks, you know, kind of get the general idea of what's happening here. But we have a weapon trial, which is kind of like a uh, the believe thing from like Barack Obama's campaign, right? But it says wart on it. That's pretty hilarious. I actually really like stuff like this. And also just a different kind of visor it looks kind of like a honeycomb kind of thing looks pretty awesome there too but this war charm though this war charm though like i'm definitely gonna have to rock this whenever it does come out for the yappening now for you news hungry people you've probably seen these images going around right here these are supposedly 2019 images of halo infinite which i mean i doubt that this is probably what the game's stats was but like you can see the very rough state like the game definitely was not ready to release in 2019 i mean it wasn't even ready to release in 2020 so that like, totally makes sense and i'm sure a lot of people were kind of looking at these images you know these, there's no context behind it. someone just tweeted it out saying halo infinite in 2019 and there's no context behind these images this could have been a test ground area this could have just maybe been the early build of a new section or something like there's so much more information that's needed behind these types of images and well a developer replied to these images on reddit kind of giving a little more detail about why these images might look the way they do because this if it was 2019, if this was the state of the game, it's incredibly concerning. But 
Let's check out what the developer had to say. In a reply to this Reddit thread here talking about the same thing right here, it said that as a developer, the hardest part about making a game is the tool set, which is something that I've heard repeatedly throughout Halo's development, a lot through, like through Glassdoor reviews, saying that the tool set is not the best to work with. So saying that also that once the tools uh, powering everything are good to go, the rest is more or less pretty smooth. This is likely what they used to test features while their engineers kept working on landscape tech, which totally would make sense. Uh, similar to how Bethesda uses their infamous dev rooms to test almost anything while artists are building the worlds together and stuff like that, which again, this would totally make sense. I would, I honestly believe this guy pretty much when it comes to the development cycles and stuff like that because uh, just seeing like these singular images by themselves without any kind of context is just, I don't know how to interpret it. Like, is this actually showing like it was actually in a really terrible state of Halo Infinite back in 2019? Or is this kind of a test area? How quick does it come around like making textures and things like that? Um, I mean, there's a lot of information you need to know, but the main thing I just want to bring up guys, that when you see these kind of things online, it's not the, oh my God, this game was completely broken and there's no point of even playing this game anymore. It's more just like, that's an interesting insight to the development of the game, but not necessarily anything that's indicative of how the development was. Now, you're probably a Halo fan if you're watching this video, but you're also a Doom fan? Most likely because the recent Doom video games have done super well and they've been super fun. But a recent rumor shows that there was a third Doom installment being in the works, most likely being part of a showcase in June 12th for the Xbox Bethesda event, which would make sense. It's been probably about that time we might see, start seeing a new Doom game get announced at least, which would make sense, but says, unfortunately for PlayStation fans of Doom, it's highly unlikely that the game cons comes to PS5, it will most likely come to an Xbox Series X and S and PC exclusive. This kind of comes with the whole thing about Microsoft buying Zenimax. I mean, these are also leaks and rumors, so also keep that in mind. Though I do know Phil Spencer has mentioned about wanting to keep the ecosystem open and let players be available to play the game. I mean, they kind of mentioned this also with Call of Duty and with the recent purchase of Activision Blizzard. But I think we'll just kind of have to wait and see how this really pans out. June is going to be a very busy month, and we're going to be covering a lot of Halo news and gaming news on this channel, guys, so make sure you subscribe. And some other interesting gaming leak information, this right here. Titanfall 3, available for pre-order in Nuremberg, Germany. Now, <laughs> I mean, is this a complete cash grab from, like, the game cut from the store just to try to get, like, your $5, like, donation to pre-order the game for eventually when it comes out or something like that? I mean, it says it's slated to release in Q4 of 2022 which would be the fall of this year and Titanfall 3 which doesn't really seem likely could be possible. Now, I'm sure many of you remember this tweet right here from Respawn Entertainment the, the company that makes Titanfall series they're talking about how they were discontinuing the sales of Titanfall which was back you know back in 2014 I believe the first game was released and uh saying that but so the rest assured that Titanfall is core to Respawn's DNA and this incredible universe will continue will continue uh, today in Titanfall 2 and Apex Legends and in the future. Very interesting thing that mentioned right there. Uh, this franchise is the a North Star of the caliber of experiences we will continue to create here at Respawn, which I think a lot of people just kind of took this as basically hopium for all you Titanfall fans out there. I know there's a lot of people who love the Titanfall series. I mean, I, I loved Titanfall 2's campaign a lot. Uh, I had never really dug too much into the multiplayer for either Titanfall 1 or Titanfall 2. Uh, I mean, just because it's such a different skill set and like it's fun to kind of casually play, but some people are ridiculous with the movement in that game. And plus, you look at my wall. I'm a bit of a Halo fan, so that's kind of my main shooter I like to play. The only way I can see this tweet being any form of realism is that if they shadow drop Titanfall 3, kind of like what they did with Apex Legends, just like one day like, oh hey, we have a completely new Battle Royale that's actually completely awesome. I mean, I think this would actually generate a lot of hype for Titanfall 3, because if you had kind of like this low, slow burn, kind of like we have with like Halo Infinite and most games out there, I don't think many people would be super interested in Titanfall, but it just drops one day, and maybe it's even free to play on top of that then, you know, I think a lot of people would be really excited about a new Titanfall game. I definitely would be excited about playing the campaign. I definitely would play that. But we'll just have to wait and see if this actually comes to fruition. Now on to a little bit of Call of Duty news, as we do know that we have a new game coming out this year, as we always do, but it's officially been revealed as Modern Warfare 2, which I'm very excited about that. I definitely like their Modern Warfare 2019 that they continue on that series. It looks like we have some reveals talking about the reveal date 
of Modern Warfare 2, we finally get to see some stuff about it. Saying uh, from the Ghost of Hope, who is a you know rather credible leaker when it comes to the Call of Duty community, saying that June 2nd for the Modern Warfare 2 reveal trailer, from what I'm hearing, uh, I was told May 30th, but it is that same week, so close enough, which... I mean, that's kind of the thing about these dates that like you kind of like roughly around this time frame kind of thing, not exactly that kind of the nature of these leaks. And plus you kind of take them for their word. And typically around this time frame from like May to June is when we get our first kind of reveal of the game as well. Most likely this might be tied into the Summer Game Fest by any chance, which was recently announced to be on June 9th. So they might kind of push that reveal date to that, which would be making sense since E3 is not happening this year. In an article written here by known leaker Tom Henderson goes into some more information about when we will get some concrete details and we actually get a chance to see Modern Warfare 2. There's been plenty of leaks going around out there, uh, but this is more just like I want to give you guys what time to expect, when to see what kind of thing pretty much. Uh, saying that several sources suggest that the most highly anticipated Modern Warfare 2 by Infinity Ward is set to be revealed this June, which totally would make sense in line with pretty much everything we've seen every single year. They're also saying that it'd be revealed at an E3-like event, and also staying there here, like we mentioned earlier, that Summer Game Fest was announced earlier today to be taking place on June 9th, which would be a time we could see the Call of Duty reveal take place. He also takes, talks about that reveal that we were talking about here, this leaked information. Uh, saying about though that most likely it'll be a campaign reveal, as it usually is when it comes to the Call of Duty reveals, and saying that we probably won't see anything multiplayer related until August, which does kind of line up with the typical news cycle when it comes to Call of Duty and stuff like that. I'm certainly excited about this. I definitely like Modern Warfare and definitely will look to jump into this for sure. Uh, also saying that the game will feature a DMZ mode, which is kind of like an extraction-based game mode, kind of similar to like Escape from Tarkov in a way, but just kind of their own Call of Duty take to it, which would certainly spark my interest because I'm not really huge in the Tarkov. I never really played it. It just looked a little too hardcore for me, to be honest, because I know I'd just be playing the mode casually. But also another addition is coming that with the rumored Warzone 2 possibly coming along with this uh, game as well, which is kind of like more kind of supposed to be viewed as like a fresh restart of the Warzone game mode, as basically Warzone was really only designed for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019. And with the additions of Cold War, with the additions of Vanguard, it's kind of broken a lot of things throughout the months of these different kinds of updates. Whenever they add in these new weapons, they just kind of mess up the whole thing. And so the rumor has it that this Warzone 2 is going to be kind of like a fresh restart. It's supposed to be kind of maybe designed for when the new Call of Duty is released that be integrated much easier than what they have to do right now. But of course, once we get some concrete information, I'll make sure to share it with you guys here on the channel. But if you're new to the channel, miss any content from me recently, check out this place right here. Got a link to all my gaming news and informational videos if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.